This episode of Ties I Help is brought to you by GoToAssist. What's up guys and happy birthday to Google Plus. A year ago today on June 28th, 2011, Google Plus launched and now it is a year old. So I figured it'd be cool to do a video uh, talking about Google Plus one year later. Uh, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, what I think they should change. Uh, so let's go ahead and jump right into this. I don't think Google Plus is doing that great. There just isn't enough people on it compared to sites like Twitter and Facebook. Think about this. How many people in real life do you know that have a Google Plus account and actually use it to communicate and post stuff? Or even better yet, how many people do you know that actually know what Google Plus really is? Now, I'm not saying Google Plus is doing bad. They have only been around for a year and they still do have a lot of users. It's just not on the level of Twitter or Facebook. And some people will say, well, Twitter and Facebook took a little while before they catch it on. Uh, but now I just feel like we're in a different time. Uh, even just a year ago, we were in a different time than when Twitter and Facebook launched. That was years ago. Uh, so now I feel like if it hasn't caught on by now, it's not going to. I actually really like Google Plus and I want it to succeed. I don't really like Facebook just because it's Facebook, but that's where everybody is and I get great interaction on Facebook and I didn't really have to work for that. Whereas on Google Plus, I don't get great interaction. Yeah, I don't like, I'm not as active on it, I don't post as much, but. I still don't hardly get any interaction on it. It could be just because of that, because uh, I'm not interactive and I don't uh, talk to people as much on there. But I don't know. I just don't get great uh, interaction and feedback from Google Plus, just because I guess there's not as many people there. Now I actually talk about what I like and dislike about Google Plus and some of the stuff that I think they should change. First thing is when you start a Google account, you automatically get a Google Plus account. Give them the option. Do not force them into signing up and joining Google Plus. That's one thing I think is making the Google Plus uh, numbers go up so high. Yeah, they have a ton of users because they force everybody that creates a Gmail or a Google account to get a Google Plus. They don't use it, but they have one. And another big thing with Google Plus, which may have been changed by now, but to my knowledge hasn't, is you can only sign up if you're 18 or older. Google, do you not want all the kids to join Google Plus and make it popular? Do that. Now, photos are really nice on Google Plus. I love how photos show up in the Google Plus feed. Uh, it like takes up the whole post and it just looks great. Uh, in my opinion, a lot better than Facebook. Is, uh, Facebook does show you a lot of pictures. Uh, I just like Google Plus, uh, I like how it looks in the stream uh, or just on the like post page itself. I don't like how uh, Google Plus does the albums though, like how you just scroll through them. And stuff. I just don't like that. Uh, but as far as like the pictures being in post and stuff like that, I love it and a lot of people post pictures uh, on Google Plus and I think it's a, it does a really good job uh, at that. Also posting YouTube videos on Google Plus is a lot better, obviously because Google owns YouTube so they're going to implement it better, uh, but it just looks better on the posts, uh, it works better, it like gets the titles and the descriptions and stuff better, uh, and it also loads up the video better, or actually load it up where you can click on it and play it, where Facebook you may have to do it like five times before you can get that to work. And with us YouTubers, I feel, and I'm giving you guys some advice if you are a YouTuber, you have to be on Google Plus and you should be active on it because Google is implementing Google Plus into YouTube like crazy. They're making YouTube look more like Google Plus and they're implementing Google Plus more and more into it. Like soon, um, if they continue with what I've been hearing, uh, what I've been seeing, they're going to remove the like and dislike button down there and make it just a Google Plus One button, which kind of freaks me out, but I hate the dislike button. There's no point in the dislike button. But uh, I don't know. Should they do that or, or should they not implement Google Plus into it? I think so far they've been making YouTube way more complicated. But that's for another topic. I'm not talking about YouTube. I'm talking about Google Plus. Another thing I like about Google Plus is the Hangouts feature. The Hangouts feature is amazing. If you haven't used that, uh, it's a video chat where you can have, I think, up to 10 people from what I remember uh, in a video chat. Uh, and when the person starts talking, they show up uh, in the main window. There's a main window right here. And there's little windows down here of everybody else is chatting. Uh, and it doesn't really have any lag from what I've experienced uh, and it is awesome. Another thing you can do uh, with Hangouts is actually stream it to YouTube and everybody has the option to do this now. So you can actually, it'll be live on YouTube, on your YouTube channel, uh, which is pretty awesome and I've used it uh, a little bit lately uh, and it's great. One thing I wish they would do with that is give me the option to have settings and, and change up some stuff. 
like is if I'm just doing a live chat by myself since I don't have the option to do it on YouTube yet I would like for it to just show my video but it actually shows the whole Google Plus window with all the blank space down there where normally people I would be chatting but if they can add some more stuff to Hangouts uh, as well as the uh, live streaming Hangouts to YouTube uh, it will be even better but as of right now I love Hangouts I don't really use it that often uh, but when I have it's been a great experience. One thing I hate because I use Google as my search engine is I hate seeing Google Plus recommendations from my friends in my search results. I know I can turn it off, but I just haven't. Uh, and I don't have enough friends on Google Plus to get any good recommendations of stuff I'm searching. I don't know, it just annoys me every time I see like Google Plus uh, profile pictures when I do a search. Maybe I should just go and turn it off, but I don't know, it bugs me, and I feel like a lot of people don't know how to turn that off. Another thing that Google does in their search results is sometimes feature Google Plus posts above a Twitter, a Facebook, or just link in general uh, that would be a better result for what you're searching, uh, just because it's Google's product. Now, a lot of people have issues with this and say it's like gaming the search engine results, which they shouldn't be able to do, uh, but at the same time, I feel that way. But it is Google search engine. Uh, I feel like they have the right to do that. They don't have to. They, like I feel like they can alter the results if they want to because it's theirs. It's not ours. It's Google, not Thai. One thing that hasn't showed up on Google Plus yet is ads, and they are 100% going to make their way there because I'm pretty sure like 98% of Google's revenue comes from advertising. So they're definitely going to implement ads into Google Plus. And I'm sure they're going to do it like Facebook where it's social and stuff like that. Uh, but that'll also ruin the site even more. There is that all that white space over there on the side of the post and stuff like that, which they could put ads on a lot more stuff. But hopefully they don't ruin it. Google is expert at advertising, so maybe they won't. But what do you think? So again, I like Google+, Plus. I like the layout of it, and I generally like uh, how it works. Uh, I just don't think they've taken off yet, and I don't see them uh, actually taking off and, and being a site like Facebook uh, or Twitter. So now that I've given my thoughts on Google+, Plus one year later, I want to hear what you guys' thoughts are. Uh, if you've used it or if you haven't, let me know in the comments. Uh, and let me know why you think it hasn't taken off if you have used it. And give me some stuff that you like and dislike about Google+, Plus. some stuff you think they should change. You never know, maybe they'll see this video, take feedback from it, and make Google Plus even better. And also, I want to hear what you guys think about Google pushing Google Plus uh, onto everyone that uses their products. It could be YouTube, or it could be Gmail, or, or whatever other product you use. Uh, how do you feel about them pretty much forcing you to have a Google Plus account and, and feel like you need to use it? Or do you even feel that way? Let me know in the comments down below. Now before we head out of here, let's take one last look at our sponsor for this video, GoToAssist. If you work in IT, you know how complicated it can be to keep all of your systems up and running while keeping all of your users supported. Often the tools you're using are just as difficult as the problems you're trying to solve. And that's why you should check out GoToAssist by Citrix, so you can take control of your IT world in one simple cloud-based platform. GoToAssist world-class remote support module lets you provide live or unattended support for all your users from anywhere. And with GoToAssist monitoring, you can get customizable dashboards displaying performance of all network servers and desktops. Plus, proactive alerting allows you to fix small issues before they become big problems. GoToAssist is easy to use, sets up in minutes, and is from Citrix, a trusted leader in IT. GoToAssist is nice because it gives you everything you need all in one place and you can access it from anywhere, your Mac, your PC, your web browser, or even your iPad. Sign up for your special 30-day free trial today. Visit GoToAssist.com click the try free button and enter promo code tie again that's go to assist.com promo code tie all right guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure to click the like button down below I really appreciate it and it helps me out a ton and also make sure you subscribe to my channel for more tech videos like this and I will see you guys in the next one peace